Welcome back! I, I actually like both of these drafts. Maybe because of the Witcher Gaming's name, I'd swing a little bit in their favor, but I'm not completely sold that what they have is much better. As an underdog, so pretty much, you know, you got nothing to lose. If you lose, that's fine. If you win, then you're like, yeah, this is a huge boost to our morale. Tusk, in a bit of trouble. trouble. Fissure comes in first blood for Vici. Yeah. Where you want him to be more tanky, like get a mech, maybe get a hood, uh, a blink initiator, but... Uh, great shards yeah. by by Cat Yu to get Erica in a bit of a bad spot. The Sprout comes in, they've got the control, they should be able to get the kill, they'll take nice out the block. Drought and Old Eleven's down bottom. LBZS, yes, they've got a kill on uh, all the cores so far. But meanwhile, over mid, Storm loses his life. Good fissure there by PYW, blocking him in. Some of the caster secrets. But yeah, this tower on the bottom will definitely go down. And PYW, man, he's having a really good time. On this Earth UI, not having the best time. Good arena around to both Irving and Cat U. They'll take on the Tusk, they'll take on the Nature's Prophet. Two kills there, both for Erica. Is going for SNY, the status resistance build. Hold 11. All our game. Vortex. Fortunes and Tombstone down with the arena around. PYW doesn't have a blink dagger, but he does have the Echo Slam ready to throw. And trying to get on top of the Drow. Silence hits the Undying. Meanwhile, on the other end of the fight, they've got Old Eleven dropping an MS. Sprout around PYW2. Or actually, Snowball coming through onto DY. There's, the, There's echo. the Echo and the Control onto the Storm. They just blew him up. Now, he didn't have too much mana to work with. Even though there was Arcane Rune on him, he just went in. Earthshaker was ready with the combo. And they're still moving forward. Walrus Punch, Sunder. Sunder. Uh -oh. Ori in trouble. Snowball, but not enough to save Xiao Fu. Cat Yu does die, and eventually so will Ori. He still has Echo Slam ready. Blink on cooldown for another nine seconds. They're trying to use this exorcism to grab onto this Aegis. MS nearby. Xiao Fu, he'll place down the tombstone. They've got the Snowball coming through as well as the Arena the down, but they already killed off DY, so they're not going to have the False Promise. They get the kill on X. They'll take out the Storm Spirit immediately. Xiao Fu. He's trying to help out as best he can, but they lose Cat Yu. PYW ends up dying and buying back immediately. They go after Erica and all the damage from Zhao Fu to take out the Drow. They lose old 11 LBCS. Oh, is this a BM pause? <laughs> DY was massive too. They have no save for Erica. He ends up dying to a huge soul rip, I believe, from Zhao Fu. Echo oh, Slam echo. on the three. Roche goes down to the dire, but it's snatched by MS. They'll kill off PYW. He bought back. It, so he's dead for a while. Squad winning a couple of games with it, and it looked pretty impressive, I would say. Some attention over onto PYW, the ball lighting Big all zip. the way through. Look at the zip, they've got the silence. They don't have the kill just yet. They're focusing DY, they've silenced him up, so no save to be thrown. It was still on cooldown for a couple more seconds. They'll find themselves old 11, three heroes dead on the side of Vici, and a tier one tower soon to fall as well. It's like LBZS, yes, they're playing across, they were playing across the river. Seems like they are. Chomp with the bait, looking ready to fight. Echo Slime comes in, they'll go for the kill onto Irving. They'll take on the Nature's Prophet. Cat Yu coming over. The arena's here blocking him out. Tombstone committed. PYW over to the side. It's got Fisher in. and Four. They need to be a little bit careful. They'll go available. after this Oracle. There it goes. Yeah, there's the buyback. Irving's going to try and come back into this fight as quickly as he can. BKB's been popped by the Storm Spirit. They've got the silence onto the Death Prophet. Trying to survive with the Spirit Siphon. Is it going to be enough? No, it's not. The Vortex pulls them in. They lose this Death Prophet. They bought back on the Oracle, but now they've found themselves old 11 as well. So another one down on Vici. It did cost the buyback from the Nature's Prophet, but well worth it in the end. KB finished for Erica. PYW throws a ward down, gets some vision of this undying. Now the electric vortex, Ghost Scepter used. Snowball comes out towards the back lines. They're looking There's for the, the Oracle. They the get the gun to DY. He's going to buy back immediately with the arena down around Cat Yu as well as Zhao Fu. They get the kill onto the Tusk. They'll take out the undying. The ball and going over for Ori. MS uses that Sunder over on Old 11. He's down with the Nullifier hitting him while he's in the Yules. They're trying to chase and get the kill onto the Mars. Just surviving. The False Promise saves Ori. Decent hold so far for Vici. It's hard for Vici Gaming, you know, to show up on the lanes. Uh, you can't just be split pushing against Nature Prophet and Storm Spirit. Smoked oh, up, blink the lower. There will PYW, he doesn't get anything off. He pops the BKB, looks for the Walrus Punch. That's going to hit on the old 11. Metamorphosis is popped by MS. They've got the arena down. Exorcism coming through from Ori, trying to do as much damage as he can. 
doesn't feel like MS is doing as much as maybe he would like, as now he finally pops that meta. It was the Terror Wave that gave him the original duration of the Metamorphosis, and now he's got the Metamorphosis. They've got the damage, they get the kill, don't worry, they'll take out all the lever. The Ball Lightning looking for a DUI, and Snowball following it up, and they'll get the kill onto three. No yeah. buyback for the award. Yeah, you don't know. Like, I mean, you should know that he didn't to commit, but... Uh, Arena down, Jiao Fu gets hit by the Spear. They get the kill on the Undying. He doesn't have buyback. He's there for 75 seconds. This is a short-term BKB here for the Storm, but they've got the War of Punch on oh, They'll look over at all 11. Death Prophet in a lot of trouble. They've got the Shards around. There's a False Promise. DY gets the save. He's going to lose his life for this, but is it going to be worth anything? He sprouted up, stuck in place, and not going anywhere. However, the Fissure hits a lot of these heroes, and with that Shard, it seems like he's a lot of damage. Yeah, there there go. in. Irving, Cat, you both going down. They've lost the Storm. Four years gone on the side of LBZS. The only one to get away so far is Ed. MS, but this is when Roche is available. You said those four free items are up. Holding on to Refresher Shard, so DY on Oracle has one job, like he needs to save that profit. And they've got buybacks available. They're gonna go for the Spear, they'll look over at Cat U. Now she MS coming available. from the side, look at this, Terror Wave pushing back Puyoyo, aka Erica. No fire hits on old 11. They've got the Walrus Punch. They have the control to kill off this Mars. He's in past the racks. Ball lightning all the way through. Looking to get a kill onto somebody. Silence not going to land. BKB was popped by this storm. But he refreshes. He's got the exorcism. They find themselves Erica for a split second. Spirit siphons. This is going to be enough. He's got the use. The Echo Slam for BYW comes in again. They get the kill to the storm. Spirit. They look over at everything. They take up the nation's prophet. They'll go after Zhao Fu. Walrus Punch onto the death prophet. But they've got the false promise again from DY. So the save is there onto the death prophet. They find themselves the kill on MS. He's got buyback. So just at you, but four years dead on the side of LBCS, and looking like this game has fallen out of the hands of this Radiant side. Like, how are we buyback wise? TB has one, needs to use it, like, they need to go all in right now. And yeah, they're gonna try and defend as best they can, but TB. He's not working with the 10 second metamorphosis coming in from Terra Wave. He doesn't have meta in general. You've got three heroes going up against five. VG still looking to finish this one off. They've got the sun sign of cash. Drop. Oh, he's Look dead. At that. Just taking out the touch. They go after MS. They'll take out the TV. Everything was there for LBZS, but they've let it slip out of their hands. Vici are gonna go on to win this game. The only one here to defend is Zhao Fu. There's the GG call. Vici take game one. They came back from about 40,000 town. Yeah. Uh, we have a Templar Assassin picked up by Vici Gaming as their final pickup. Him? Yeah. Um, very interesting. I, I call it Chi because of the like Dota 1 days and I have this mentality. Batrider is gonna drop top. Uh, like, she spawned birds to spiders, so, you know, you need to be like a TA player to actually feel it. Uh, aggressive move on Night Stalker bottom, Root Frost is slow. No, oh, there's another Root. Root, Irving, Purifying Flames comes in. <laughs> Looks like they already want to play aggressive once again. They pick up the smoke on Tusk. We'll see where they go with that smoke. However, MS, on level 5, in some trouble, throws out the Swarm, goes into the Shikuchi, burning alive. Power Shot misses, however, he back into back. the Firefly. <laughs> How many times do you see a comeback like the one we saw in game one? Hold that thought. Shackle, power shot, Irving in trouble. Winter's curse to keep Irving alive. See if they can commit everything to get the kill and easily do with the walrus punch. Snowball over to DY. Erica trying to help out. The Astral Step going in deep. Looking for PYW as well as Erica. They'll go for the troll. They're in under the tier two tower. PYW ends up dying to Irving. But can Ori turn this around at all? Cold Embrace, they've got the dust, they'll get the kill on a Cat U. Aether Remnant locked in is DY, falling is DY. MS gets the kill, they go after Erica, who pops the ult, trying to survive. There's no mana left for the TA. Erica just getting kited around, and now he's under the tier two tower and dead. They're still really well in. for LBZS, and they are continuing to stay under the tier two. They need and to get these out. heroes out. Lose so, the Void Spirit, Jiao Fu trying to smoke and leave. Not sure he's going to be able to do so. Power Shot lands, they've got the trap, and Jiao Fu will fall to old 11. Now MS, old 11, he doesn't have a Blink Dagger, so he can't Blink on top, but... Don't provide any kind of stun or silence, like Night Stalker plus the Void Spirit, also very Lasso. elusive. On a cat, use Snowball to survive, going towards old 11. So that's near PYW, who times the power shot on the Snowball. Shackle hits onto the Weaver. Old 11 surrounded by four heroes, but they've got the TA coming over. How much do they want to commit? And they've got the curse. curse once again. They get the kill on old 11. They throw the silence out, but Irving is in a bit far. Traps get popped all over the place. The Melt Strike. 
Nice cold in for Ace. Shackle lands Good though shackle. on the MS, and he can't get away. They lose three heroes going for old 11. Lincoln's next up against this lasso of the Batrider. Fine DUI. Crippling Fear, he is silenced. Doesn't have a false promise, but he does have a disarm. The Void is used, but is it worth your life, Irving, to go for the Oracle? No. Doesn't look to be so. Well, Erica now grabbing another kill. You know, they are controlling the map uh, with the traps. Uh, a lot of sentries, but only one observer board. Clear the outpost. Lasso. There's the lasso. Onto MS. The damage is there. The kill comes forth. And they're going to look for Cat Yu. Flame Break and the shards kind of lead to a weird bounce for the Tusk, but dead nonetheless. There's two heroes dead on LBZS. Let's see if LBZS jump on the timing of Aegis, if they've got a time right. Aether Remnant hits on the behind hero of PYW. They go for the Walrus Punch, but there's the False Promise. That's going to save the Winter, or save the Windrunner. They go for Cat Yu. Again, the Cold Embrace comes in, but it's not going to keep Cat Yu alive. Dominating for Erica. Uri getting low. They find Irving. Fortune's end with the Shackle. They'll take out a second. They both buy back. They go after Erica and finish him. Now, their eyes are on the TA. Flamebreak hits five both seconds. The, the Tusk as well as the Weaver, but is it going to be enough? Finally take out the Aegis, but it was about to expire. Might have been better worth waiting. As they go towards the back lines, look for DY. He doesn't have False Promise anyway, but he ends up dying. Meteor Hammer coming through. No, he's going to blink away and try to escape as Old Eleven takes out Jiao Fu. Now with the TP, does he get out? The Eighth Remnant's there, stops the TP away, and takes out PYW. Let's but, see. Oh, silence on silence. Fever. Now, Lincoln Spear's not going to save you from that. He's has the a damage. Sense. Oh, man. What a oh play God. from Ori. Ori just playing with his food, and now Old Eleven well, drop to the Void Spirit. Ori thinking about it. And they also lost the gem. Not enough damage until he gets that MKB. Yeah, like Lincoln's is a very costly item. Uh, Smoke kind of must have here against the Shackle and the Lasso. Smoke holding the high ground. Right nearby, Lincoln's pop, Shackle hits, they've got the lasso, they get the kill on MS. The rest of the team was on the high ground on the opposite side of the mid lane, and not there to help. Orb of Destruction, Quickening Charm dropping, things that don't look like they're going to help that much. They've got the Meteor Hammer as well as the lasso, they get the kill on MS once again. This time he's got buyback, but he has died once more away from his team. There's the Orchid for the Winter Wyvern, just too little too late. Down, 24,000 net worth. But again, game's not over just yet. Jiao Fu, though, <laughs> this life. What did I say 10 minutes ago, B Cup? To look to finish the game. There's not much to defend with. Weaver's holding buyback. Winter Wyvern still dead for 10 more seconds. Similar can happen in this one, but uh, you need to click the buttons instead of sitting in a fountain. I'm surprised Weaver held the buyback all the way through. When are they going to try and fight? They'll go with the Walrus Punch, but there's the Abyssal Blade used onto Cat Yu. They throw a Shackle over the Winter Wyvern, and they get the Tone of the Toss. Kill buyback immediately. Now the Silence coming through onto the TA. Do they have the damage to get this kill? Oh, the Lotus Orb oh, Snowball. Lotus snowball to save him, but it won't save him for long. He's low on a minuscule amount of health, finally popping that Aegis. They get the kill on Irving. They'll take out the Night Stalker. Now they'll look to control up the TA in a little bit deeper. The damage wow, onto MS. And there's the Winter's Curse, I believe, reflected again. Old Eleven is on it with this Lotus Orb, and so is Vici. They will take game two. They will sweep the series and uh, finish off LBCS. Yes. Yeah, it seemed uh, pretty easy for Vici Gaming after making that uh, huge comeback in the previous one. Uh, I think it really affected LBZS.